Good afternoon. My name is Kara Long and I'm with Hewlett Packard Enterprise and I'm really excited to share with you today a little bit about the HPE CloudLine portfolio. Many of you may know Hewlett Packard Enterprise is the maker of the ProLiant server, one of the most secure servers and most widely deployed servers in the marketplace. But a few years ago, HPE introduced HPE CloudLine, which was built on an open set of standards, a hyperscale ready design, and built it specifically for some of the largest tier one service providers. The product was incredibly successful, but it was private and custom. And the product was developed in order to meet the changing portion of the market, looking for compute across multiple different processing types, big data, bulk storage, and acceleration. Also looking for ways to change their TCO story through multiple different avenues. CloudLine as a product was kept private, but I'm here to tell you today that we have launched that CloudLine product and now made it available to multiple different service providers across all industries. Just in the last year, we have taken our CloudLine products and we now have five publicly offered products that I'm going to walk you through today. And then we have five privately offered products that we're testing in the market to try to drive new adoption inside of the market. What's important about HPE is that we're taking this approach to look at the lens through your lens, one that is driven by a TCO equation across five different different variables. Those variables that you're thinking about historically may have been just around OPEX. How much did the server cost and how much was it going to take for you to deploy it? We realize after multiple studies and the learnings with those top tier one customers that you're looking at TCO over five different key vectors. And we look at them not only across real estate, power consumption, space optimization, and the way that you cool you're also looking at it around workload performance, both those that you create on your own, inside of your own environment, that are intellectual property for you to run your business, but also those that you would acquire. The third element is the one that we always talk about, which is how much is it gonna cost for me to acquire new server gear in my environment, new infrastructure? That's just one element of your TCO story. The third one around administrative efficiency, so if you take your entire environment and you start to look at it on a cost of revenue per administrator, that is a key element to many of our customers as to how they look at their TCO equation. And the last of which is data center services, those that help you migrate amongst traditional compute to open, or to make sure that you have flexible capacity in your environment from the standpoint of your spend. So taking those things into account, I wanted to share with you that HPE has been on an open journey since the beginning of our history. For close to 70 years, HPE has participated in creating standards across the industry, going back all the way to the beginning of the x86 server through today. So while many of you may think about HPE being a traditional server provider through our ProLiant, Apollo, and mission critical servers, CloudLine is now public. It's a really good news story for anyone who is trying to find the way on that TCO story through a journey to make sure that it is economical for you to adopt cloud-like hyperscale environments for yourself. So how do you know whether or not you're ready? We have been able to take our experience with some of the largest service providers who we were building custom gear for and boil it down to four key questions that one must ask themselves when they're looking to adopt open. Those start with the number one, which is do you have the resource capabilities within your environment to develop your own scripts and to deploy open servers? It's a really important first step to identifying whether or not it's right for you. So what may be right for some of the largest service providers may not scale for some others. So what HPE is doing is helping to make sure that we have an avenue for you to walk on to this journey at your pace, at your spend envelope, and inside of the environment that works best for you. So migration services and other capabilities are what we're creating in order to make that journey more seamless. 
The second one is familiarity with inter internet interconnect protocols between storage, networking, power, server infrastructure at the data center level. So taking it out from one node and thinking it across deployments across multiple different racks. So we believe that that is a journey that you're on, and many of our customers are on, and we're helping you to take bite-sized chunks throughout that journey. The third one that is a key requirement that we have seen for those who are moving to this type of technology is that you need to have experience customizing your operating system environment. And if you don't have this in your environment today, you don't have the capability, HPE is creating services, migration services, to allow that to be more seamless. It's another critical capability that one must have to do this successfully. The last of which is the ability to tune server systems BIOS parameters to optimize platform performance inside of your environment. One of the ways that we do this to make sure that you're ready and help support your journey as we've created a customer engineering organization that is tailor fit to help with this, with this walk into the open server space. So if you've decided that you're ready and you're ready to move forward, HPE has created a portfolio in and through Cloudline. Cloudline, again, was created in 2014, but just only recently now has the ability to deploy across multiple customers and is available publicly. We created this platform with a few specific key criteria in mind so that when you come to uh, this type of environment, you know how we're designing. We're designing it around basically seven different key features, and these are the core tenants for how we engineer the product. We have HPE key engineers that are developing this in the similar way that we have for ProLiant and Apollo. They're internal to Hewlett Packard Enterprise. They've been doing this for years and we created these key tenants in order to deliver the portfolio around hyperscale, open design, simplicity of the design itself so that your cost is not baked into the way it looks. We, it's kind of a no frills approach. And you think about this through the lens of no vendor lock-in. So this, the management capability is all open. So if you're, in, if you're uh, familiar with integrated lights out or HPE's ILO systems management, in this space, there's no vendor lock-in. You don't have additional firmware that's added on. So it allows you to have homogeneity within your data center and allows for scale to occur across multiple vendors because we realize that in most cases, there's not just a singular source for your infrastructure. So this allows you to have the reasonable application and deployment capability. So what is Cloudline? I talked a minute about, ago about how excited we are about the public enablement for Cloudline so that you can purchase this product. On the top here, we have five different specific products that are offered today. We have the 2100 and 2200, which are Intel-based 1U, 2U racks. We have the uh, Cloudline 3150, which is a, a new product from AMD Epic-based processing, which has gotten some fantastic benchmarking for both economic and performance results. We have the Cloudline 3100, which is a computing storage server for Hadoop and Cassandra. And we have Cloudline 5200, which is our Gen 9, which is based on a Broadwell processor. And it has a very competitive 80 drives per system for max cold storage. All of those products are now available publicly, whereas in the history before today, they were only allowed privately and private engagements. Now, there are also still additional products that we still do offer privately. First off is our Cloudline 3100, which is the next-gen Skylake-based processor to the one above. Our Cloudline 4100 Gen 10 product, which is a 2P Intel Xeon-based processor system. Then we have a Cloudline 4300, which is a Qualcomm ARM system, which will be available later this year. We had an early announcement of that back in November with our friends at Qualcomm, and it'll be available later this year. Very excited about that system. And then, of course, we also have the Cloudline 5800, which is a massive cloud cold storage box that has 100 drives. So this is the portfolio. This is a complementary portfolio to our existing ProLiant portfolio that you know very well. They are very different in their positioning, in their adoption, 
But this is a market that we actually believe, based on the assessment we have here at OCP and all of the other open consortiums that are coming together, that this is the future. We see the greatest compound annual growth rate in the open space. It is growing at about 11 to 12% per year over the next four years. Whereas we see the traditional enterprise space actually having a flatter or more of a plateaued approach from the standpoint of adoption in the marketplace. So as evidenced by the excitement of OCP over the last seven years, we know this is an area of the business, area of the, of, the, of the industry that we need to invest in. And this is a little bit of our overview for Cloudline. I'm so proud to share with you the great news about our products. If you have interest, we have several people here who can talk to you about the specifics of adopting a Cloudline type infrastructure into your data center. There is a large booth just down the way, and then we also have some private products that are still under NDA in a meeting room over in the Marriott that we'd love to share with you a little bit about and talk to you about your environment and how Cloudline might be right for you. Thank you so much.